Kejana McGee Pleasant started every game for the Rambells this past season, and for the first time in her ASU career, she was moved up to a leadership role. You still played a lot. You started every game last year. Yeah. But this year, it's on a whole nother level. How, what was that like? Um, I mean, it was a lot of pressure, but I mean, they know that I would, they knew I was ready for it. So I just came out ready to play, and they said just play how you know how to, and we'll go get some wins and hopefully make it far. Her route to this point in her life has been unconventional. After playing two years at Wayland Baptist and now a star for Coach Coach Ellis' squad, McGee once said in 2019 that she did not plan on playing basketball prior to high school. At an early age, a young age, you were really mindful of more than just yourself, mm -hmm. right? Where did that come from? My family. I've always been taught that as, at a young age and even now, like even to just be mindful of other people mm -hmm. and, you know, not to never be selfish, always think of what's best for the team, not for what's best for myself. The 2022-23 season for Angelo State Women's Hoops came to an end earlier this month, but it was a year of growth for everyone involved. Yeah, it seems it seems like this is one one really big family, and despite the, the you know how the season ended, what are your overall thoughts and feelings about this year? I think we had a great year. I mean, last year we started off pretty bad, and we still had a great end to the season, and then this year we started off really good, and, you know, we got a – we had a target on our back, of course, because we had such a great start to the year and, you know, we have a great coach. So, I mean, that kind of goes hand in hand. And while the success of both Tejana and the program at ASU continues to rise, her thoughts still center around improvement not only for herself, but for her family and teammates. Doing well in basketball, right, you're playing well, but now you want to provide and do something for your family. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're now starting to become on that track as you continue to accomplish these goals? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been talking a lot to Andy and Alicia about playing after college, and, you know, they've been giving me some tips and how to how that process works, and, you know, hopefully that works out for me in the future. What are going to be some of your goals? What are some things that you're focusing on, both individually, uh, whether that's on the court, off the court? What's, what's going to be uh, some of your goals? Just work on a lot of stuff that I like shooting, finishing, a lot of stuff like that. Hey, you shot 36% from three this year. Last year you were at like 22 or something like yeah. 24. So, I mean, you, you, you took a little John Morant kind of jump in terms of shooting. Yeah. So I want that higher. <laughs> well, that's all I got for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.